Ah, good afternoon. It is Saturday the 21st. Lunch has been had. This morning I was getting my captain's photo done, so I was in all my finery and my lovely new jacket and a tie. You'd have laughed, I'm pretty sure. Can we imagine trying to screw this face up into a smile? Anyway, haven't been to the range all week. Far too busy with Christmas coming along. Oh my, oh excuse me. I've just blown one over the corner. Probably one of the best drives this winter. Oh my, that is a long way down. We are carry only today. I didn't know, so I've got my big bag instead of the carry bag. So there's bare minimum of things in here. Because the, uh, the one thing that is in here is my homemade putter. Oh my. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Terrible night last night, no sleep. So, we're going to be putting with my new putter. And we'll see if, uh, if I'm any good, if it's any good, or uh, whether it's utter garbage. Second good shot. It's only downhill from here, isn't it? So it's the 21st of December, which is always a bit sweet and sour for me, because it's mum and dad's wedding anniversary. And of course they're no longer with us. So Christmas, I don't, I don't know why, I always find it a little bit, not as good as it used to be, but that's life. That's life, life Jim. Get on with it. But the sweet bit is shortest day of the year. So from here we are heading towards the golf season rather than away from the golf season. So there's always a little bit of cheer in that if nothing else. Even though we know that January is going to be the, the coldest month, the frost, the temperate greens, the possibility of snow and course closure. It's like we've gone over the hump. Right. Bunkers there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, I've got about 45 yards left. It's not bad considering I ain't got a three wood or a five wood in the bag. Then we'll get on to the exciting bit, the putter. A lovely clunk high on the face I think right today today's video is about the homemade putter that I uh, cobbled together badly I've added some more lead weight to it I put it around the shaft and one of them's already fallen off probably in the bottom of my bag there so today I'm going to be putting with <laughs> with this <laughs> Oh, uh, whose idea was this? Uh, I've done a little testing. The sweet spot is about meep, that big. Um, let's get serious for a minute. The greens are cut at five mil in the winter. They're bumpy, they've got footprints, they've got unrepaired pitch marks. The usual kind of laziness that you get from a, from a group of members. Uh, so anything outside 15 feet I wouldn't be expecting to hole anyway because I put to the hole rather than past the hole my ball very easily bounces off and, and away it goes so we're looking at the performance inside 8 feet can I hole anything does it persistently miss on one side or the other side because yeah, there's no balance to this so um, my putter <laughs> Oh 
Oh, Christ. We'll start with a par, a two putt par. Got about 110 left. I don't have my GPS today because I plug it in the trolley, don't I? And I don't have a rangefinder, so it's pacing out from the 150 yard markers approximately. About 25 feet left, just a tiny little tug. Birdie putt. I almost missed the short one. I think we can say it's working, but <laughs> uh, but, uh, anybody want to buy this? Well, I got a new addition on the bag. This has come from Golf Sidekick. I'm a Players Club member. If you don't watch Golf Sidekick, why not? And on the back. A hairy golfer. Right, well, carrying a trolley bag, whoops, is, is not easy. So I'm going to have to go in the attic tonight and get out the carry bag. Because tomorrow is a very sad day. Our good friend Curly is moving on for pastures new and tomorrow is his last round at Tewksbury Park and I'm paired with him so uh, tomorrow's video which you might not see until the end of January actually because I've got so much stuff scheduled in so tomorrow's video is Curly and he is a true gentleman he's uh, probably the nicest person in the club so it's a it's a great shame to lose him Ooh, this is a bit wet well you might be wondering why we're carrying our bags well we've had yet more rain hang on how does this work there we go there is the river seven all over there and you shouldn't be able to see it at all from here I tell you what, it's been miserable the last, uh, well, since the end of September, to be honest. Right, rescue. See if we can thread the needle. Bad for an old man, eh? Oop, that's the bag falling over. All right, so the bag's plastered in mud and I am not impressed. Got about 45 yards here and one magpie on the green. One for sorrow, two for joy, etc, etc.
birdie, birdie, birdie. Not so bad now, is it? That's a bit ugly. I just pulled it into the trees on the left. Right, I'm under the trees. I'm just going to go and feed it through one of these gaps and then we'll see if we can get up and down with a wedge. Right, 100 left, slightly uphill, into the breeze. I'm going to go with a wedge. If it comes up a little short, it doesn't matter because I'd rather put up the hill than down the hill. Yeah, so uphill put. short up the hill but I am going to declare myself the homemade putter driftwood champion 2019 well assuming I finish this one off So can the old man uh, putt with a piece of driftwood? Yeah, he can. I'm going to go and clean all my gear since it fell in the mud. Get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's more important than <laughs> this. <laughs> um, anybody want me to make you one? <laughs> oh God. Bye for now. Oh, crikey! Oh, dear, 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 dear. What should I do with it now? Oh, I've got an idea. So then, it's about 20 past four. It's getting dark here already. Pretty cold outside. Um, so my experiment, how did it go? Can I put with anything? Well, of course I can. I've been putting since I was six, for goodness sake. But that putter was, in all honesty, a complete pile of crap. There was no weight in the heel or the toe, so if you hit it slightly off centre, the face just wanted to twist open and... Uh... Well, it was garbage. A bit of fun, but garbage. The question is, is what should I do with my putter now? Um, I've solved that dilemma. Yeah, there's my putter. Look at that, flames coming out the top. Oh, it's nice and warm out here. Oh God, sorry, I had the phone on my knee and had a jig going. So, 
what should I do next? Well, tomorrow's pl Curly is playing his last game with us, so uh, we shall record that. And of course, we will feature Curly almost exclusively if I can. Wow. And I shall get this one, get this video out as soon as I can. And then I'm making another one on Saturday the 28th, which is a really, really good one. So I hope you'll tune in for that. How's my putter going? <laughs> a fitting end, I think. Don't you? Good night. <laughs>